If muscle power was all one needed to control a state, this world would have been ruled by the families of Hitler, Mussolini, Papa Doc, Pol Pot, Timur, Idi Amin, Mao Zedong, etc. But the Chinese president seems to think otherwise. Bullying, coercion, and the misuse of state powers is all he knows about. But there comes a time in every tyrant's life when he is rendered helpless. Often it starts as a small spark of popular rebellion that soon engulfs everything. In China, that small spark is now visible. Hi and welcome. This is TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. And I'm your host, Atul Mishra. In this video, I will tell you about how the business community in China is becoming more and more vocal against Xi Jinping's dictatorship and why this can turn into a popular rebellion. The Chinese Communist Party is a bizarre, paranoid and insecure regime. It fears many things which a democratic government would hardly consider a threat. So the CCP fears things like human rights activists religious and ethnic minorities, pro-democracy activists, and even a hint of criticism. But Xi Jinping, the incumbent Chinese president, is absurd even by the standards of the CCP. He fears things like poems and billionaire CEOs. The issue is that Chinese business leaders who were once seen as CCP loyalists have suddenly started criticizing the Chinese government quite openly. Last year, Alibaba founder Jack Ma criticized Chinese regulators. And now Wang Xing, the co-founder of a Chinese food delivery giant Mai Tuan, posted a poem on social media, which was interpreted by outsiders as a veiled criticism of the Xi Jinping administration. This officially marks a bitter feud between Jinping and big Chinese businesses. Let's start with the Alibaba story. In October last year, Jack Ma accused China's state-owned banks of operating with a pawn shop mentality. He also criticized their incessant obsession with collateral and guarantees. The billionaire also called China's financial regulation outdated and badly suited for upcoming fintech solution companies like his own new venture, Ant Group. The next thing we know, Ant Group Company's record stock listing worth $37 billion got stalled. The Jinping Ma showdown escalated quickly. China's State Administration for Market Regulation also launched an anti-monopoly probe against Alibaba. To top it all, Jack Ma went missing briefly after the apparent battle between the Jinping administration and China's most popular billionaire. However, there is a twist in the tale. The Alibaba founder didn't give up. In April, the star billionaire was spotted in a video conference between the Russian Geographical Society and Vladimir Putin. Ma flexed his muscles by flaunting his connections with the Shanghai faction. To be precise, Shanghai faction is a powerful group within the CCP, which maintains close ties with billionaire entrepreneurs like Jack Ma, as well as healthy relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Ma's sudden appearance in the video conference was thus a show of defiance against Jinping's high-handedness. His actions seem to be inspiring other successful Chinese entrepreneurs as well. Take for example Mai Tuan. The food delivery giant is facing an antitrust investigation by China's State Administration for Market Regulation since April 26, last month, over suspected monopolistic practices. This is only the second such antitrust investigation into a domestic tech company by China. Alibaba, the first victim of such proof, was fined $2.8 billion by Beijing. The food delivery giant is already suffering because of the probe and Xi Jinping's insecure behavior. The company has witnessed a drastic fall of $38.96 billion in its value over the past two weeks, which must be causing understandable anguish. Might One CEO Wang Xing, 
Meanwhile, posted a poem on social media on May the 6th, which narrated the story of an ancient emperor who burned books to silence intellectuals. But guess what? His reign was overthrown by two uneducated people. Can you guess who took this social media post personally? Well, let us give a clue. It could have been an expressionless guy sitting in Zhongnanhai, Beijing. Xing soon realized that narrating a poetic Ku story on Chinese social media was probably not a good idea. So he deleted the post on May 9th. Wong also issued a clarification. As for CNBC, he said, This poem reminds me that the most dangerous rivals are usually not those you expect. Alibaba has been watching JD.com for a long time. In the end, it was Pinduo Duo who came from nowhere and competed with Taobao. Yet, Xing's clarification was too little, too late for China's autocratic regime. As per CNBC, the misunderstood poem has spurred further scrutiny against Maituan. Shanghai Consumer Council, a consumer rights group, too mounted pressure on Maituan by criticizing the food delivery giant over its business practices. However, the way the Chinese president and his regime got rattled by an innocuous poem speaks for itself. Xi Jinping is too small a leader to digest the opinions of China's business leaders. The battle between Jinping and Chinese entrepreneurs has thus begun. And this time, it seems the Chinese businesses do not fear Beijing's high-handedness.